You guys show the world what Christians look like, how they act, how they behave. Matter of fact, I felt proud just for this channel because there was a family that was in need. Again, the family did not come ask me for anything. All the all they did, one of the uh, the daughter asked, "Could you pray?" They've been watching the channel. Um, Could you pray? They've asked for questions. Hey, what does this mean? What does that mean? Even done, I think I've done like maybe two videos off of their questions. You know, that's a good question. Let me do a video. By the way, that's a good way to get video done. If you ask me a, a good question, hey, can you do a video for this? And I'll get to them. But that's all she's ever asked. The daughter and the mother did not ask for a thing and said, uh, could you just pray for us? Um, Mom's going through this. And so it, life happens. Y'all know life happens. And for this young lady. To say, hey, what we really need more than anything else is just prayer. And ask for, just to pray for, you know, for the financial situation to be fixed. And it bothered me. I, I, I had a hard time sleeping. When I first asked, is there anything I could do? She said, no. No, no. But then I asked again later, as the day came, do you need anything? This was the day of. They needed the money this day at a certain time. $2,800 something dollars, right? I know some people who might be willing to help. Some some show sure enough Christians who did not say let's just pray. Now get now granted, we had enough people also prayed about it and just prayed because I believe that prayer does change things. I believe that when we do pray, when we do ask God, Lord, get involved in this thing. We're not going to try to fix this on our own. Lord, can you help us out? Can you walk in us? Can you can you cause us to move? I believe that helps too. And then some folks also open up their pocketbooks. Some folks, $10, some $25, some $50, some $100. They needed $2,800. They got, they got $4,500. They actually got $5,000 because there's another $500 that's getting um, um, sent to them as well. Because obviously what they needed is going to be more than what was required for that day. And God showed up. Through the believers. Because sometimes being a Christian ain't about what your mouth says, it's about what your hands and feet do. It was so awesome, guys, that people were emailing and texting saying, hey, I still want to give. I guess it's over. People still what? Okay. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go on too far because I didn't want to make it seem like, okay, we're gonna raise 10,000, 50,000, right? Um, they got what they needed plus plus more. But people still wanted to give. You can't tell me being a Christian isn't awesome. You can't tell me being around other Christians. Haven't even met these people or even you people personally. But because we are linked by the same father. Y'all know we sit at the same dinner table with the same daddy at the head of it. And to seeing that happen. And I'm talking about not, not in a matter of days. I'm talking about in a matter of an hour, hour and a half, two hours. You guys aren't smart Christians. You guys are real Christians. Do you hear me? You're not smart Christians. You are smart Christians, but you guys are real Christians. I mean, show sure enough real Christians to come through for that family like you like you did. You guys are awesome. That's that's really all I can say. Um, that's the kind of confidence that we ought to have, not just in our salvation, but in the fact that in the love that we share and show one to another. I know for a fact that some of the believers that gave did not have the same doctrinal views. Some of the people that gave were Calvinists, some were Arminian. Some were Reformed, some were not. Some were dispensational, some were not. Some believed you could lose salvation, some believed you could. I mean, could not. But they all believed in, in Jesus.